Welcome back to Digibro and Pals, What's up? friends, compadres. But, uh, this dude's starving. Uh, all my people, bring all my people with me. You said that one dude was the tertiary antagonist. What are you, what are you doing? Is he right against now? you? Are you like reading this or something? Yeah, I'm. Okay. Well, I'm leaving it up so other people can read it. So oh, I'm not oh. reading it. Out I, people who are well, not. I don't mean you guys. I mean people who are gonna fucking watch the video. I can't read it anyway. This gives some uh, the uh, the demons in the background. It's doing like it's funny stuff. that you're doing that for this game where the like the narrative is not necessarily that dude, interesting. Ding -ding whereas like him? Brandon playing Earthbound was just like <laughs> through everything, and it's like oh well, there goes the entire point of Earthbound. There's not a lot dialogue. of dialogue in this. It's all in cutscenes. Yeah. Whereas Earthbound, it's all well. I mean, I guess there's a little bit of dialogue, yeah, like dude. talking to like other humans who are still alive. Yeah. Isn't there like a hot ninja girl in this? Yeah. Uh, she's Asuka from uh, Ninja Guy Down. I forget what the fuck her name is. No, there is no Asuka. I think it's <laughs> <Kaede>. <laughs> I just made this up. Oh shit. Her name is uh, uh, Ayane. Is in I got that. Uh, Jin, uh, Kasumi. Money. It's Kasumi and Ayane. She's uh, Jin Kasumi Tachi. in Ninja Gaiden? Uh, yeah, wait, yeah. I remember sure Ayane was. being there. Yeah, but Ayane I don't was. Remember you can play Kasumi. as Ayane, but I don't remember. <laughs> Oh, dude. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe I don't think Asuka. Kasumi was in Ninja Gaiden. I don't, think so. I don't believe so. I'm not sure she was. Even Kasumi <laughs> was too busy getting cloned and shit. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh shit. So uh you going to make the first we move. We should though? do a let's play of Dead or Alive volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Really? Just beat the game. Yeah. Well, there's two problems with that. One that we don't have that are alive, beach volleyball. Oh, dude, we just get it. Two, the Game Grumps did it already. What? Yeah. <laughs> I've tried my hardest Aaron to Aaron Hansen, us... I will find you and kill you. <laughs> you and your John stupid Tron, hair. fuck off. John Tron's not even Game Grumps I know you're not anymore. there anymore, but fuck off, dude. Ah, there she is. Oh my god, she's beautiful. <laughs> like, her and that dude's face are just so well and like... They're just, they're the only good faces. Everyone's face is just ugly. What's like, that kid is just shitty. Shit-eating, just stupid hair. He's already balding at age fucking five. Yeah, I, I, immediately in my sucks. head. I don't know if anybody uh, here watches the YouTube channel Fine Game Bitches, nope. but uh, he's got a song that goes, Titties on a ninja! Titties on a ninja! Titties on a ninja! Titties on a ninja! And that's uh, now in my head. <laughs> Maybe you should uh, request that she goes on there. I wouldn't be surprised if he'd Wait, is she a playable forward. character? Or not? Uh, yeah. Not you guys should all fo follow FGB. Fine Game Girls. There's a, there's a point bitches. in this game where it's, it's a very like a funny giant channel. puzzle. And you like switch off between her and It's all about uh, living that pee life. This is just Resident Evil. Yep. You switch as the, the fucking first. the president's daughter. No, then, I mean it's like instantaneous. Her life sucks. Like it's you. You, no you go through an area, and then she goes through the same area, and then it switches back to the other person because they, go, they each have to like unlock each other's trap. Like, they go, "What? Yes. What is this? Huh? What is guy. this?" Teddy's on a ninja. Speaking, of, we should let's play uh, Resident Evil, the uh, the, the uh, updated one, the updated one of the first one. We should oh. let's play Dark Souls two. Um, um, I've never played that. Actually, I played that game when I was a kid, yeah. and I did never get past the first part because I got so scared. I didn't want to shoot the first zombie because I didn't know how to. I would shoot and miss. I'd be like, "No!" That's how I felt and about I just, this and game. And I had nightmares. Kid. I was just like, I had a nightmare where, because like in the beginning of the game, I don't, know, I don't know if I remember right, but it's like, it's like the people are running to the mansion, and it's like right. a, like a found footage kind of like them running. It's like black and white, and then they see the fucking the dogs and shit. And I just imagined there was a dragon, and I just for the longest time <laughs> thought. There were yeah, dragons in Resident Evil. There was just a <laughs> giant zombie dragon that chased him in the mansion. He was too afraid to touch it, and he just never attacked them. That is incredible. And I always played as uh, Jill because uh, I was afraid of being the other guy and being alone. Uh -huh. The entire time the game, he's here. And just the clock ticking, and you're like, oh. Oh, God, one of these guys. The game oh, is so shit. silent and dark, and then uh, no one would watch me because oh, I had dude. no friends. Fuck. Well, forever alone. Yes. Mana. Jeez, dude, you just fucking barbie chewed that guy. You just immolate people like Gandhi did yeah. what? to himself. Gandhi didn't immolate himself. I want to believe he did. Oh wait, yeah, he Gandhi did. Was too busy. No, he, he didn't. didn't. He start. He like fucking he starved himself. Except he, he didn't himself die after from he it. starved himself. Dude. No, you're no, thinking of like some Vietnamese himself. monk. I forget his name. Yeah, Gandhi. he did it. 
Gandhi was Shut the Indian fuck dude. up. <laughs> <laughs> Just for, the Gandhi I know, the Gandhi I believe in right now, had immolated himself for hunger. He's like, all right, that's no, cool, that, you guys. Uh, that dude immolated himself in protest of the Vietnam War, and he just stood there silently while he fucking lit his body on fire. Yes. Yeah, that was pretty sweet, sweet, dude. If you're a fan of uh, Rage Against the Machine, yep. their first album, I think it was their first album. Yep. Covered no, his, I didn't know. It is that guy. I did a fucking, like, wow, 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 I did a paper on that guy. Wow, 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 Every single time, man. Molotov cocktail. It's my dream. I'm waiting for the day that this country... I don't country, know what that is. The second this country goes to, like, civil war or whatever, like... When, civil war? Yeah. The next revolutionary as soon as, war. As soon as, like, as soon as a revolution starts and everyone starts fighting in the streets, I'm gonna t- tie a fucking, like, bandana around my head, get a Molotov cocktail, and then put, play fucking Rage Against the Machine on my iPod, and then I'm gonna sit there... Like, like I'm gonna walk up to like a car, and I'm and I'm gonna wait for the moment of the song, and then throw the bottle. Balls on parade, pin out, and everything explodes. And everyone's like, ah, oh, no, balls really, on before, parade. Uh, da, da, da. Before I had sold my, my life to the government for three years, I really wanted to get a Molotov cocktail and throw that in someone's car before I left for basic training. And then I was Jesus, like, dude. I was like, I want to do that just so I could just watch something just fucking beautiful just explode. Or some shit like Beautiful. that. And then I looked and I looked online and it was like it's really dangerous, dude. A lot of people have hurt themselves. <laughs> like they just they light it and fuck it up wrong and they like throw it and then the alcohol like comes out of it and hits their arm and it just burns forever. I was like, Alright, you know what, dude? Maybe <laughs> like especially knowing me, I would just be like, Oh shit, hit it, some backsplash hits me and I just Oh oh shit No <laughs> oh, Burn victim forever. Fuck well, you're already, uh, you've already got burns all over your arms from fucking putting out cigarettes on your arms. Where the uh, fuck are these guys coming from? I just want to be... I'm gonna um, die. There's no two fucking ways about it. Uh, commit to and come and, to uh, life as, And uh, Trevor also has dumbass burns on him because yep. uh, he decided to copy you because was, he's extremely impressionable, I guess. I was so drunk and I depressed. Make, uh, <laughs> To make Trevor a mold of me, I just I joined wasn't the it, fucking like, army. Wasn't oh. there a time you had like a burning stick and you started burning your arm with it, and then oh, my yeah. dad just like realized what you were doing and was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Yep. Like like he way was, late after you'd already drinking, done it like a bunch of times. Burning myself for no reason. Yeah, man, I keep forgetting that like my dad used to drink with us because he hasn't drank in like over a year. Jeez. Yeah, he's because he quit smoking and he was like. Every other time he'd ever quit smoking, then, like, as soon as he would get drunk, he would start smoking again. Oh, because, yeah. you know, when you're drunk, you want smokes. So, uh, so he quit drinking in order to facilitate quitting smoking. And because whenever he gets hang- hung over, he gets, like, paranoid for some reason. So he was, like, uh, trying to avoid that. And he seems to be enjoying himself without alcohol. Oh, shit. But uh, I totally forgot that he used to always drink with us whenever we got drunk together. And now it's just me drinking alone every day. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> every <Jesus>. day. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't usually drink a lot every day, but, uh, you know, they say a beer a day is good for you. Is this true? I looked it up, too. Yeah, who it's got who stuff, is they? Not, um, not, not getting fucked up and drunk every day, but it could yeah, be a beneficial A beer a day is, uh, there's, like, something to do with the yeast or whatever. Yeah, the hops makes your... Mm. Yeah, well, supposedly IPAs... <laughs> shut up now. <laughs> supposedly uh, IPAs uh, give you man boobs, according to... Uh, so you just develop... It to uh, medical uh, journals? G- yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you drink too many IPAs, you get man boobs, supposedly, which is fine by me, because I don't like IPAs, even though I accidentally got one in, um, in here. Like, I didn't realize that this was a IPA. Uh, it fucking says India Pale Ale right there. Yeah, Speaking of, I think what I, do you think IPA stands? I think Speaking I read of, uh, Pale Ale and didn't see the Indian, because it's, like, kind of part of the graphic a little bit, you know? I think I just saw Pale Ale and was like, whatever, it's $1.79, and it's got a high rating on rate beer, so I'll pick it up. And then, like, only after it? I had bought it, I was like, oh, this is an IPA. Speaking of uh, IPAs, after the second, uh, like... War? No, after the second uh, grappling competition I was in, where I got my ass beat in, like, fucking 15 seconds, like, me and my bud, were we were really bummed out, so we were like, whatever, dude, we'll just go get fucked up over here, because we were, like, on TDY or whatever. So we were, we, we were there, 
we go to this bar. There's not only a bar, it's like a club. It's like a really fancy club. And they had IPAs, like tall glass, two bucks. I was like, dude, let's just get <laughs> fucking drunk. And I was like, who cares about what happened? So we're fucking, we're getting drunk and stuff. And we're just like, like, just drinking, just talking about this random shit. And then like this back section opens up. And it's just like a dance club. And we were, I was like, dog, I don't know how to dance. But I'm feeling very confident in myself. And they, I still remember the song because it was stuck in my head for a week. The Cupid Shuffle. So then I went there. All there was just black dudes there. I'm just, uh, I'm out of place. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. And then like the Korean chicks were there too. And I was like, all right, you know what, dude? Maybe I'll just join in. I just copied. I looked at the first black dude. And I was like, he looks like he dances good. I just did everything he did. It was a pretty good night. I didn't dance with the girl, but I was happy dancing by myself. <laughs> and then we eventually got really drunk, like really, really drunk. I was like, we probably have to get back. And we weren't staying in barracks. We were staying in like, just, it was like a holding area. And there's like a CQ, so there's people there, and like there's signs there like, the, no alcohol on the premises. If you're drunk, you will be, they will evict us and just throw us out. Yeah, I was like, all right, well, we can't have that happen. So then we get, we, we finally walk back. We're like super drunk. He's like, he's, he's, he's just being, I don't know what's wrong with He's like super, super like anti-government dude when he's drunk apparently. So he's all oh. fucked up. And then we're like, we're walking back, and he like flicks off in the MP. I'm like, oh my <laughs> fuck. And I'm like, oh my god. But he, like, he didn't see. He was like, yeah, fuck you guys. You guys are fucking pussy. I was like, oh my god. I was like, I'm fucked up. But when it comes to a point where I have to like watch over someone for being too much, then I like, my brain sobers up or some yeah, shit. That's... Like, I just become immediately like, all right, I have to make sure this dude does not fuck it up for both of us. And we yeah. get kicked out. We get back, and then we're, we're standing outside of the place, and we're sitting there, we're arguing. Because he's telling me how much blah, 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 this and that about the government. I'm like, dude, I can't deal with this right now. I want to go sleep. And then he's like fucking mad and stuff. I was like, all right, so what are you going to do? I was like, I'll, I'll let you do one thing here just so you'll fucking cool off and we'll go inside. And then he's like, oh, well, fuck this fire truck. I was like, the fire truck, dude, they, they, they pulled out fire. So he was like, no, nah, man. And he like walks over, pisses on it. Then he rubs his ass in his butt. He just pulls his ball down and just starts rubbing it, rubbing it on every part of the fucking fire truck. I'm like, oh. I'm looking around. At first, I'm looking at him and I'm looking around like, I mean, well, no one's here, so it doesn't. Who cares right now? I'm like, it's it's fine. And then then he like punches it and then he like goes to the worker vehicle. I'm like, oh my god. He rubs his ass in his balls and I'm just watching him like. I don't think you understand how stupid you look like a fucking idiot. And he's just like, no, nah, man, they fucked us over this. And I was like, uh, no, we both signed a contract. We fucked ourselves over, dude. And then like, I had to threaten. Like, I never like threatened to beat anyone up. Like when I was drunk, like like that. But I was like, I had to threaten. But I was like, dude, if you fuck this up for us, if you do not shut your fucking mouth for like two seconds, I was like, I will fuck you up right here in the park. I will drag your unconscious body past there and be like, I don't know what happened. And he fell. And he was like, all right. All right, dude. And he just shut his mouth. We, we made it pass, and I just sit down, and the other, the motherfucking high roses is looking at me, and the other dude, I was like, I don't think you understand. My night was, sh it was good, and it is now the shittiest, because <laughs> I had to threaten to beat this dude up, and he had like a thing. He was just like bummed out, and I tried to tell him the next day. I was like, Yeah, what what happened? He was like, I didn't do that stuff. I was like, Because you don't remember. That's <laughs> why you were fucking. You can't be controlled, you animal. <laughs> Yeah, man. Jeez, dude. It's like a thing. Anytime a bunch of people get drunk, like, if one guy gets too drunk, everyone else sobers up to yep. deal with it. It's usually Tolentino who gets too drunk in our group of friends, and uh, and we all get worried that he's going to die. Though lately, thankfully, he learned some restraint, and now he just passes out <laughs> in, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> He'll drink, like, a whole bottle of Fuck. Mad Dog and then just fucking pass out. Didn't even fucking see it. Ugh. Now I gotta do the whole fucking... I feel like, Trevor, you've been out of control drunk recently. <laughs> recently? Uh, I, like, puked in the sink, and then I slept in... Oh, uh, do you know uh, tr uh, Brand Brandon Tolentino puked all over Victor's yeah. bathroom the other day? Yeah. And uh, apparently... He, I haven't talked to him since that day. Like, I see. I haven't, like... I'm not pissed at him or anything, but he hasn't, like, talked to me at all, and I'm just... Like, well, he said he was, like, he tweeted something about, like, taking off a recovery weekend or something, like, for some, some for some health reason. Uh, so, so I, might die today. I guess he just hasn't been, uh, he's, he's been fucking chilling. Um, yeah. I didn't, Maybe it's because of that. It could be. I didn't think very hard about it, but I saw that he said that. I was wondering why he hasn't really been around for the last, like, week. It was, like, three days. Hmm. Well, you know, time for me is like a weird thing. 
Next time on Digibro and Friends. Yeah. I get through this fucking ladder. Ah! Yeah.